Well, tonight, the Paterno family speaks out about the child abuse scandal that has ended the storied career of Penn State football coach Joe Paterno and given rise to harsh new national scrutiny of college sports altogether. Paterno's son, Jay, in his first sit-down television interview since the scandal broke, spoke just tonight with our sister network ESPN, answering questions about how his 84-year-old father's handling this crisis and a new diagnosis that he has cancer. In just two tumultuous, tragic weeks, Joe Paterno has had a fall from grace that is hard to believe. At 84 years old, revered by sports fans across the nation after coaching Penn State's football team for 46 years and winning more games than any other major college coach, he was fired last week. Joe Paterno is no longer the head football coach. Effective immediately. Disgraced for allegedly not doing enough to stop what he was allegedly told was the sexual abuse of children by Jerry Sandusky, one of his longtime assistants. And now, Joe Paterno is battling lung cancer. If there's one guy I know that can beat that, it's him. Paterno's son, Jay, who coaches with his father, spoke to ESPN's Tom Rinaldi tonight after the family released a statement saying that doctors believe Joe Paterno's lung cancer is treatable. And for the first time tonight, Jay answered questions about the scandal swirling around his father and talked about what this tremendous fall from grace has felt like inside the Paterno family. What have the last two weeks been like for you? <laughs> Pretty surreal. I mean, it, it's almost like the book of Job. I mean, it's, I'm, not a, I'm not a Bible scholar by any stretch of the imagination, but Job went from having everything to having nothing. And uh, it's not quite like that. And I think, but I think to keep things in perspective, one of the things that Joe has said to me throughout all this is we got to make sure we keep focus on the, the victims of, of, of this whole tragedy. But he says his father and mother are really. He's a father. He's a grandfather, and they have done so much for, for children and for young people, my mom and dad both. Joe Paterno stands accused not of a crime, but of a different kind of moral failure. He did not do enough to protect children, allegedly being victimized by Sandusky. And there may be so many victims, it seems. Jerry Sandusky coached at Penn State for decades under Paterno and in 1977 founded a charity for underprivileged kids called The Second Mile. Many of the reported victims were second mile children. It was unnatural from the beginning. Deborah Long's son, Matt, was placed in foster care with Sandusky after he got in trouble. He says he was never molested, but his mother believes otherwise. Oh, it's a nightmare. I mean, nobody even wants to think that somebody would do that to their child. You have to think about kids that are going to bed at night, you know, with really fighting some demons uh, and some innocence lost. And that, that's heart wrenching. That's heart wrenching. Jay Paterno spoke about the victims tonight, but also staunchly defended his father. He argued that when assistant coach Mike McQuarrie came to Joe Paterno in 2002 and told him he'd seen Sandusky sexually assaulting a boy in the showers, Sandusky had already retired. He had been gone for a couple of years. He'd been retired. So he really wasn't part of that, that staff anymore. Penn State football brings in $70 million a year to the university. Under Paterno, all that money from the program has transformed the school and turned him into a living legend actually cast in bronze in front of the stadium. Tonight, when asked how he feels about his father's name being removed from the Big Ten Championship Trophy, it was clear that Jay Paterno, even in the midst of scandal, is still focused on the game. Let's get there and win it and put it back on it. And joining us now is the reporter who conducted that interview with Jay Paterno, Tom Rinaldi, from our sister network ESPN. Tom, great work on this story throughout. And tonight I want to ask you specifically, after talking with Jay Paterno, do you think he gets it? Do you think that they're aware that Joe Paterno's reputation, his legacy, has been tarnished here. Uh, I think that Jay and probably a lot of the Paterno family feels as though the way things look right now might change over time. I think they understand certainly what this has done 
to Joe Paterno and how he's perceived right now and what it's done to Penn State University and its football program. But there is a persistent belief, certainly among the Paterno family, that as more facts come to light, things may not appear exactly as they do right now and perhaps may look more favorably upon Joe Paterno. And that's a great point. The facts have yet to emerge fully. What's next for the Paterno family? Joe Paterno really needs to concentrate right now on his health and in talking to Jay and to others close with the family they say that the plan will be for Joe to begin radiation uh, this week most likely. Absolutely. Tom Rinaldi in Columbus for the Penn State Ohio State game tomorrow. Thanks very much for joining us.